going fishing offshore. Yeah. 65 miles, there we go. South Carolina dream, it's always been a passion of mine. And uh, I'm into it, it's early. Ella Neal. Neal? Ella Neal, yeah. Ella Neal. I'll throw the door down hole. Are these sneakers? No. I'll throw the door down hole probably what? 600 to 1,000 feet. Over your head. 80 degree water. My team out here on the glaze. I'm trying to get some reaction out of these things. But you can see this is an ordeal. Lots of lots of moving parts, primarily targeting a marlin. We're off the coast of South Carolina here. Merle's inlet. Stay tuned. I got it tangled up. I got grass on it. In a turn, you got to really you're pay now, attention. Now you're in the doghouse. I am in the doghouse. Good. I gummed everything up. You got to get one line out and then the other out. To try and get it done without getting the two all tangled up. Yeah. Which is kind of hard to do first thing in the morning time. A little overcast, you can't see the lines perfectly. Not very good. Explain your mistake, Brian. Brought the short rigger in, and it got gommed up with the teasers, and then gommed up, gommed up. Then got gommed up in the dredge, which then got him gommed up, and that made him. Why do we use a dredge? And what is that? Dredge is a whole bunch of squid and mullet makes it look like a school of fish underneath the boat. targeting probably dolphin and, and inadvertently marlin because the marlin are eating the dolphin. But so we're about 50 to 60 miles offshore of Earl's Inlet. Uh, we came to the break, which is where the uh, the Atlantic Gulf Green meets uh, that us at the closest point. Uh, and it goes from about 100 feet and then it drops off anywhere from two to four to six and then you can go another 10 miles or so and you can be in 1200 foot of water so 
the water. Yeah, the fish are following this warm body of water, and they're also targeting spots that hold structure, that hold fish on the bottom. You know, so that's where they go and eat at. And um, so we're just we're kind of fishing where they're fishing. You know. And uh, while we're doing it, I mean, right out here we could catch wahoo, we could catch tuna, we could catch uh, mahi, we could catch uh, blue marlin. So, not specifically targeting one specific fish today, um, so we should have shots at any of those fish today. It's like getting the chair. You're what? You're the left wall now. I guess a marlin on a billfish? Billfish. Okay, you got no Awesome sailfish bite, Landon's first billfish. Oh, yeah, right. Chris and Landon hooked up first time. Looks like we're heading out. Big time fishing. Thanks to Miles Herring and his crew today, Brian Smith, Jeffrey Rogers, Miles Jr., and the kids. I think we had a pretty good day today. Uh, fishing out of Burles Inlet on the glaze.
That means we caught a sailfish. Actually, Chris caught a marlin. Absolutely. <laughs> I know where the gaff went the first time. <laughs>